In just four years, one Utah billionaire has acquired the state's NBA, MLS, and NWSL franchises. Now, he's bringing the NHL to Salt Lake City. Meet Ryan Smith, one of the fastest rising owners in sports, and the man scheming to turn Salt Lake City into the ultimate sports destination. In this video, we'll explore Smith's grand plan along with the impact and infrastructure needed to make Utah State Capital the next major American sports hub. Welcome to FOS Explains. Ryan Smith was born and raised in Oregon, but he grew up a big Utah Jazz fan. He didn't just root for the team, he played for the Junior Jazz basketball program, and he dreamed about playing for the NBA squad one day. But that didn't quite work out, so he moved on. Back in 2002, Ryan launched his first major business venture. He co-founded the survey tech company Qualtrics with his brother Jared and their dad Scott. They started the company in a basement. But eventually, it blew up, and by 2019, they sold Qualtrics for $8 billion. After the sale, Forbes estimated Ryan Smith's net worth was $1.3 billion. So what did he do with the money? Well, he tried to buy an NBA team. Smith flew out to chat with the Phoenix Suns owners, and even considered bidding on the Minnesota Timberwolves. But his wife Ashley told him to wait, because what if the Jazz became available? A few months later, big news broke. Ryan Smith was buying the Utah Jazz. The $1.6 billion deal gave Smith majority ownership. It also sold him the Jazz Arena, their G League team, and management over Salt Lake's AAA baseball team. In a separate purchase, Smith also acquired the Zone Sports Network from the Jazz previous owners, the Miller family. But he didn't stop there. Smith started collecting every single Utah sports franchise. He bought the Jazz in 2020. In 2022, he acquired Real Salt Lake for roughly $400 million. In 2023, he revived the NWSL's Utah Royals for $2 million. In just four years, Ryan Smith's portfolio went from nothing to an NBA team, pro men's and women's soccer teams, plus three minor league teams. He also now owns four major stadiums. But in 2024, Ryan Smith was knocking on the door of one of his biggest purchases to date, the one that would lay the groundwork to transform Utah into the next major American sports hub. In January 2024, Ryan Smith's entertainment company made an announcement. They called for the NHL to start an expansion franchise in Utah. This wasn't just out of the blue though, it came after two years of private negotiations between Smith and NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. The league's initial response to Smith was cautiously optimistic. They acknowledged Utah as a promising market and said they were willing to continue talking about it. But it turns out, Utah wouldn't have to wait for an expansion team. The Arizona Coyotes were one of the most troubled teams in the NHL. In 2022, they were evicted from their home, the Gila River Arena, so they were stuck playing in a college hockey arena a fraction the size of pro stadiums. After two years at Mullet Arena and two years of failed plans for a new stadium, they pulled the cord. The Coyotes were up for sale and open for relocation. In April, Smith purchased the Coyotes for $1.2 billion. Well, kinda. He bought everything except the name. Coyotes owner Alex Morello actually keeps the Coyotes name, but the NHL promised that if Morello can build an NHL arena in the next five years, the league will welcome the Coyotes back to the NHL as an expansion team. Meanwhile though, Smith's Utah Hockey Club will receive all the Coyotes players, coaches, and draft picks, and they'll all move to Salt Lake City. The team will go by the Utah Hockey Club for the 2024-25 season, but the team and fan base have narrowed the official name down to six options. And in a genius full circle move, Smith actually used his own survey software company, Qualtrics, to help narrow down the choices. After landing another major sports team in Salt Lake City, it was time to set his big plan into motion. Utah is going through a population boom. It topped the 2020 U.S. Census charts with an 18.4% population increase from 2010 to 2020. That's more than double the national growth rate. Utah's growing tech industry and relatively low costs position Salt Lake City as a high growth area, but Ryan Smith believes it could be a major sports hub too. Smith's master plan is creating a multi-billion dollar sports and entertainment district around the Delta Center. Earlier this year, Smith lobbied lawmakers to pass SB 272. 
the legislation approved the city to dedicate $1 billion towards Smith's entertainment district. Smith also asked the government for control over three blocks downtown for the district, asking for permission to create buildings more than 40 stories tall. Maps and renderings show off Smith's goal for the Delta Center, building a grand entrance of massive screens leading to the arena and creating shops, restaurants, hotels, and apartments in the immediate surrounding area. Smith Entertainment Group says the goal is to create a desirable destination, quote, where both Utah residents and tourists will want to regularly visit, shop, recreate, gather, work, and live. This is all happening while Salt Lake prepares to host the Winter Olympics in 2034. In the past six years, the Utah legislature has allocated over $94 million for the upkeep and renovation of facilities from the 2002 Winter Games, with the total expected to surpass $140 million. Meanwhile, Utah continues to prove itself as a host for major sporting events and even has its sights set on an MLB expansion team one day. But in the end, do you think Salt Lake City can actually become one of the biggest sports hubs in America with the help of Ryan Smith? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe for more on the business of sports.